Hi, we're at the Giesman booth, and I got Simon here from uh, Giesman. He's going to tell us a little bit uh, about the uh, new Bluetooth control system for the Tesla. Okay, so uh, as, as you know, the standard Tesla comes with uh, just inbuilt control anyway, with um, automatic sunrise, sunset, and then you've got the inbuilt timer. You've got adjustability on the three different channels as well. Um, built-in moonlight but we wanted to go a little bit beyond that so we decided to develop a Bluetooth kit. It was uh, uh, fairly simple before right you just yeah, held it down for yeah, just one to, to 30 seconds? Yeah yeah that was it you hold it adjust up or down and set it and then it will just retain those settings and then you set your, your on time and your off time and it will ramp up and down either side so yeah that, that was a standard on board but we had people who wanted a little bit more controllability with it so we developed the Bluetooth software which is actually based around the full-blown Futura software so the Bluetooth kit comes as a, as a little box you can connect it up to the light and then you can use the software on any device from Apple phones to Samsung Android um, and also PC version as well so you download the software to your device or whatever yeah, and you get, you get this control panel come up. It's actually amazing how much, well, there's nothing you can't really do with this software, um, but the way Gizmo have laid it out is very user friendly, so we can go in, we can find the information on the unit, its average power consumption, so it's, it's quite accurate so you know how much energy you're using. So that just gives you the basic information. Um, we've got a live colour mixer, so we can go in, we can play around with the light, we can get a feel for whatever light mixes we want to use. Obviously the Tesla is a three channel, it's actually five colours but they're tied into three channels whereas the future is seven colours on five channels. Um, so you can adjust these wherever you want, have a play around with it, then you can go back out. And then the next one is the day cycle. What we can do is we can go in and change each individual channel, we just set our own profile over the course of the day where we literally, if we want to start off at nine in the morning, and we can just build that's really simple a curve we can drag it around do whatever we want to do and we can set do that setting across each of the channels so we can start them at different times we can use them at different levels we just you can actually set up to 5,000 uh, 4,520 set points over a 24 hour period with a software it's, it's quite incredible so there's not a lot you can't do with it it also comes with some defaults some de default curves as well when you first buy it, you can try those and that gets you going sort of thing. Um, so we've got the day cycle and then you've also got some weather simulations. So you've got lightning, you know, uh, people like that. But the big, the one of the best ones is cloud simulation because we can, you can vary, you can program in variable cloud patterns over the course of the day. So what it allows you to do, it allows you to run your lights sometimes a little bit higher than what you normally would to get the punch, punch those colours out the corals but without the danger of extended over, over exposure, so you can use the cloud to dip it back down again. So Give uh, the core a little uh, break. Just allows you to tweak it up a little bit, yeah. Right. Um, and then finally you've got the, the moon simulation, um, and this one's, this one's quite handy. It's, it's an automatic 28-day cycle, and then you can increase the intensity to whatever you want, the peak intensity, but to set to time to uh, set it up properly with the real time lunar cycle you literally just go online and say okay when's our full moon it's in five days time so i would bring slider across to the peak at 14 days and then just go back five days and then just hit send to the unit and it will transfer that data to the bluetooth and then it's all stored on there and it will just carry on that cycle and it'll just keep looping it around so the, um, the actual software itself is very, very easy to use. You know, it's very reliable because it's Bluetooth. You haven't got to go through any silly online connections or remote control software or anything like that. So it's your software, you've downloaded it, you've got control and access to it, you know, 24 seven sort of thing. So there you go, that's the Tesla Bluetooth. Perfect, man, that's a big uh, upgrade to this. Uh, I think it makes a, adds a lot of value. Yeah. All right, thank you. Okay.